Kitty with Coco Martek. Today we are going to interview a person with one of the most bizarre conditions as of today. A person who is addicted to big things. From using large spoons, large tumblers, large underwears, large everything. How are you Mr. Alokyur? I am great. Thank you for having me in your show. I'm a big fan. It all started when I was still a kid. I was addicted to playing toy cars. Then one day I got bored, so I went to our garage, took the keys, and drove my dad's car. I got to an accident, and when I was admitted to the hospital, my the doctors took some tests on me, and they were very confused because what they discovered is a condition that they have never encountered before. Then after that, all I've ever wanted were big things. It started with using big spoons, then wearing big underwears or big shoes. And even when I started to enter adult phase or my puberty stage, whenever I'm with my female friends, I can't stop looking at their big, uh, you know, big. It was hard, definitely. Do you really need to have everything big? Or are there just certain things that you have cravings for for them to be big? Uh, yes, everything. Even my uh... Sorry, um this is supposed I think that's inappropriate. Uh uh I was actually referring to my phone. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> that's a huge phone. Will you tell us all about it? Phones are getting bigger every day. Uh, I bought this Flair S8 Max when I visited the Philippines this year from a company called Cherry Mobile. As soon as I saw the phone, I immediately, I immediately fell in love with it. Uh, yes, it does have a big chin, but for me it's also great since when you use the phone in landscape mode, you have something to hold down to, a grip. Obviously, you have enormous display. It's a 7-inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD screen, 1080 by 2060 pixels. It has 345 pixels per inch, an aspect ratio of 18 by 9. So it's great for media consumption such as watching movies, YouTube, and Netflix. The body is made from plastic and that's fine with me since I always put cases on my phones. The dimensions are around 178 by 87 by 9 millimeters, I think. Wow, that's interesting. With the competition among the popular brands such as Huawei, Apple, Samsung, Oppo, Vivo and all, you chose this one. Will you tell us about it? The operating system is Android 9.5 with a chipset of MediaTek Helio P23. The GPU is Mali G71 MP2. The combination of the big screen and a very capable processor gives me a satisfying time using the phone, especially having BTS or the big thing syndrome, which again, I like big, everything big. Uh, using this mobile device is satisfying. Also, you have four gigs of RAM, which is okay, but still gets the job, job done. And uh, when in terms of gaming, I actually prefer this one done playing games in my flag flagship phones since the screen is really big. I had no problems playing games with this phone except for the Wi-Fi speed. So you will either move closer to your modem or router or use mobile data. I'll be making a separate video for playing Mobile Legends with the Flare S8 Max so stay tuned for that because I'll be also giving away a free skin for you. But spoiler alert, I had an amazing time playing Mobile Legends with this phone. For other high graphic games such as Asphalt 9 or Call of Duty, You'll be able to play them smoothly with no lags or frame drops, but the graphics will suffer a bit. Also, playing games will not overheat the phone and thanks to that massive 6000 mAh of battery, one game of 25 minutes of Mobile Legends only consumes 7%. If you're looking for benchmark scores, here they are. 
they're okay for the price. The scores from the Antutu Benchmark and the Geekbench 5 are competitive against the phones with the same price range. For everyone watching, this is not a sponsored video. So, you travel a lot, which means you should have a phone that needs to have amazing cameras. I understand that you have a DSLR, but you, of course, for quick snaps, you must use your phone. Does it have amazing camera as well? They're okay. You have two rear lenses, a 16 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel for depth sensor. You also have an LED, LED flash and a selfie camera with 13 megapixels. Can you please put on the screen the photos of Mr. Alukiar took so that you can all see them? Thanks, Franco. Obviously, um, there's a technical difficulty. Here are Alu actual photos. These are the sample photos that I took using the Cherry Mobile Flare S8 Max. No filters applied, no post editing too. What I like most about both of the rear and selfie cameras is that they take true to life photos. They're not that saturated, they're not over or underexposed, the colors are spot on especially with ample amount of light. These changes in low light though as it's really hard to focus for taking photos and videos but again, with ample amount of light source, they are surprisingly good. Almost high-end iPhone level. Even the bokeh mode, which is like the portrait mode, is good too. You can definitely take amazing photos with this phone. As for the other modes, you have a beauty mode, which is I'm not a fan of, and the face cute mode, which is just like the AR stickers for the selfie camera. Taking videos is just okay as it takes 1080p videos with a bit of shakiness and contrast. The audio captured from the microphone is not that good as it kind of sounds like a tin can but what the heck, the phone is affordable anyway. Overall, taking photos is surprisingly great with good lighting condition and taking videos is good enough for good old family memories. Oh, when taking photos under direct sunlight like this one, your skin tone will look pale as white. As if I look like someone who took glutathione injections every day for the rest of my life. I look like a vampire from twilight. So this is our set for today. You have your table to put some things, especially for the iPad since the script is written on in my iPad. You have the camera and you have some messy things on the full table. You have some liquor there and Oles. And you have the microphone that I use. Hi guys, this is Alu Kjord and thank you for all of the support that you have given me. Hope to see you soon and have a nice day. Honestly, the selfie photos that I took were better than I expected. They were sharp, detailed, with good skin tone and properly exposed. You just have to have steady hands since they tend to get blurry if you, have, uh, if you move your hands while taking photos. Even using the rear cameras, you will surely get surprised since they take awesome images, especially with ample amount of source light or ample amount of light. In low light, not so much. I'm really impressed with this Cherry Mobile S8 Max. What other features does this phone have? Well, it does have a hybrid dual SIM card slot, meaning you can either put two SIM cards at the same time or a SIM card and an SD card up to 128 gigabyte, gigabytes of memory. It also has the Bluetooth 4.2, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port at the top, which is nice, a massive 6,000 milliampere of battery, a fingerprint sensor at the back of the phone, which is fast enough for me. And the best thing about it, it only costs around 6,999 pesos or 140 US dollars. Really? That cheap? I did not expect that honestly with that humongous 6,000 milliampere of battery. Yes, and it also charges using the USB Type-C. Charging speed is also good, around 30% in around 40 minutes. This show has turned into a tech show real quick, huh? And I don't mind actually since you have an interesting life and phone. What's your least favorite about this phone? Um, first, I can't put on a third-party skin on the phone, so I'm stuck with the layout of the phone. You can add a navigation drawer in the settings, but you can't remove the apps in your home screen, 
meaning all of your installed apps will be displayed in the home screen. Second, the Bluetooth sometimes disconnects from other devices such as wireless earphones or in the car. I'm not sure if that's on my unit only though. Lastly, the Wi-Fi speed is also slower in the phone compared to other phones. Again, I'm not sure if this is a unit problem or with all of the S8 Max phone. I see. Well, I'm sure you're still happy with your phone. I am, I am. That's all of the time for today. Thank you, Mr. Alokyard, for sharing time with us. This is your host for today, Jackie Chow.